John Hughes is not only a writer, director, and producer, he is a success. He penned the hits Mr. Mom and National Lampoon's Vacation and wrote and directed Sixteen Candles and The Breakfast Club, the latter which made my ten best list. It also made another Oregon critic's ten worst list. Recently in Los Angeles, I talked with Hughes about The Breakfast Club's varied appeal. Well, I, you know, I think the picture, to its credit, um, people either, they either liked it or they disliked it strongly. And uh, you know, if, if a picture's doing that, something's going on with it. It isn't just laying there and people saying, well, it's all right, <laughs> you know. I mean, I'd much rather stir controversy than just, you know, fade away. Um, I think that a lot of adults misinterpreted the film. I think they looked at it as an assault, which it was not. Mm -hmm. They misinterpreted uh, why those kids, a lot of people said, well, he's presuming to say that all of children's problems are, are, are a result of, of, of their parents. And what I was saying is that those kids are concerned about their parents. They wouldn't talk the way they did about their parents if they didn't have some concern for them. If their parents were not important to them, they wouldn't, they would have, they wouldn't have said anything about them. It wouldn't even have come up. But it is an issue to them. And what, they, what the picture was saying to adults, what those characters were saying to adults, is please listen to me. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm young, but I have problems. They may not seem particularly important to you, because in the context of, of you know, life and death and survival and all those other th you know, major issues, my being upset because someone doesn't like me or I can't, uh, I don't have any friends or whatever, looks relatively insignificant to you, but it's really hurting me. And that's what it was saying. And I think a lot of, you know, a lot of adults took issue with that. Um, mm -hmm. In particular, there was a guy <laughs> did a review where he said that I presume to, you know, think that, that kids' problems are more important than nuclear war or anything else. And on the cover of his own magazine was a story on teenage suicide. I'm thinking, well, I guess they're, you know, I mean, death is death, you know. And uh, uh, things that affect kids may not mean anything to adults, but they certainly do to the kids. And that's, that's all I was saying in the picture. Well, the kids are the adults of tomorrow, and they will be controlling the buttons for nuclear war. So well, it seems I, I, kind I, of important. Really. And, uh, <laughs> you know, I mean, We've got to spend, you know, we've got to spend some time considering the future. Right. I mean, the future is something that, that comes up in all of my films. You know, it's all over the place, and because I, I think it's important. You know. So it just seems like some people went into the theater with a defensive attitude. I think so, I th and I think you know, a lot of a lot of people say, well, it, it's it's got a young cast. It's it's about young people. Therefore, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna look at it at this level, not at this level, and uh, they can do that all they want. You know, I mean the. If they have a problem with it, that's, I mean, there's nothing I can do about it. Hughes' newest film is called Pretty in Pink and opens later this month. Keeping an eye on the movies, I'm Corey Brunish.